What I've been trying to do is come up with a general recipe for producing one of these Mobius loops with webbing for any number of sections and any number of segments within the limitations of what's um, geometrically possible. So uh, I'm going to roll a dice and I'm going to add two to the first roll and that's going to be the number of sections. So let's see, no, eight. So that's, that's eight sections. So do a cylinder and it's going to have eight sections. Okay, right, the next bit thing is to determine the number of segments. So I'll roll a dice again and oh, that's six and six is 12. So this may be a problem. Let's see, roll in two sixes. So when they have factors, so there's four and two are also going to be factors of eight and twelve that this is likely to bring bring about problems with this system but since I've chosen to do it randomly here we go so this might go on a bit this video sorry so you do a sweep I'll do sweep X and then press tab it wants to be two for the first box and press tab to get the next box and this wants to be uh, so if it's 12 segments that goes all the way around the loop that we're going to make uh, it needs to be 180 divided by 12 so 180 divided by 12 is 15 and then for the next figure it's 0 and the last figure needs to be 360 divided by the number of sections so that's 360 divided by 8 and then divide that by the a number of segments which is 12 which gives us 3.75 accuracy is required because we're going to repeat this sweep so go OK and then press shift and D to repeat the sweep so it overlaps once and twice press I for identical plus 2 extend the selection and then delete those extra bits on the end select the entire shape right click and weld this point space to deselect everything select an edge so one of these uh, edges here that goes around the shape and press L for loop and it should go around the entire shape right click and bevel it down right click again extrude normal hold the uh, I'm doing the shift key and take it out one and right click again and shell extrude normal and then take that out again I just one and in the geometry graph I'm going to hide the new shape that I've produced through the shell extrude which leaves us with this one and this is where we get to see whether or not this is going to work this idea so I want to select this edge tool select one of these outer edges that's facing on the out, uh, outermost edge of this extruded section just select one of those then go select edge loop every nth ring so there's nth and it needs to be the interval needs to be the same as the number of sections that were in the cylinder so that's going to be 8 and then go OK and then switch to face right okay you can see then where the problem lies these webs are going to uh, form our uh, our interlinking bits and there's too many there's too many there's four in each link and this is because the four or two whichever it happened to be is a factor of each of the of each of the ones because I've got eight and 12 then it won't work so there you go that's that's failed so there must be some kind of rule that you can't have uh, certain factors now if this had been an odd number on the number of segments then it would have worked fine so um, I'll just get rid of that sheet doesn't work and we'll roll the dice again and see if we get lucky this time so like I can say I've not come up with a perfect um, general rule so let's see the number of sections or oh, not eight again I'm going to re-roll can't keep rolling six right five five plus two is seven so that's going to be seven so I've never done one with seven yet I don't think so let's give that a go so this is going to have seven sections right and then I'm going to choose oh well, it should be easier now let's see what, what we're going for this no, I missed the table there you go three so three plus six is nine so I want to go nine around the outside so nine segments so uh, sweep, sweep X, tab, first one is 2, tab to the next one, 9's into 180, I can do that, it's 20, tab, naught for the third one, for the final one we want 360 divided by 9, which is going to be, 
Well, it's going to be 40, isn't it? I think. Is this important? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So 40 now divided by the number of uh, sections in the cylinder is 7. So that's um, no, a funny number. So it's 5.714285. Five seven one four. That should be accurate enough for what I want to do. Now press Shift and D and take it all the way round until it overlaps twice. I for identical plus to extend the selection. Delete and so entire object and weld. You can see that the vertex has lighted up where it's welded successfully. Press Space to deselect everything. Select edge. Select one of these outer edges. Press Loop and then that's L for loop. Bevel this down just to its fullest extent. Then extrude. Uh, I'll do it 0 0.5 because it's a smaller area on the middle there and then shell extrude normal I'll take that out and uh, 0.5 again I'm just running out of space in the middle because it's uh, it's only got uh, these seven segments right hide the new shape that you've created I've got one left over from last time haven't I I'll bring that in select it and hide that one delete it I'm just getting rid of the old shape that was left over from previous experiments right so uh, where was I oh yes hiding shapes that um, this middle section we're going to see whether it works now select one of these outermost edges that's uh, on the outside then it's select edge loop every nth ring nth interval of seven same number of, as there were sections in the cylinder and then select the face tool right this looks more promising because uh, there's no factors between the uh, the seven segments and the uh, the nine segments and the seven sections that they just don't divide into one another so hopefully at this point what you need to do is assign a material to these faces that are selected so it's right click and uh, right click again on material give it a name go OK I'll assign it a color and go OK OK and in the outliner I can see there's my material that will allow me to select these faces again after I've chopped these segments up so I select the edge tool again, select one of these outer facing edges, press G to extend it all the way around the shape and then L to loop it. Do it a few times hitting L and then you should be able to loop cut the entire shape into these segments and just run your mouse around them to see that they are properly cut up. Press space again and then in the outline right, select your new material and right click and then select that. And now you need to do select inverse press minus and then delete and then select the vertexes and press delete again and if you do it in that order what should happen is you don't have any collapsing problems where it says it can't collapse it it does happen sometimes uh, so that seems to eliminate that issue one other issue that does crop up from time to time you can see this line here okay uh, it doesn't appear on any of the other ones uh, but it is does appear on that th that face there and there so you just want to get rid of these stray lines so just select them and delete them so everything looks the same now you can use this selection again so right click on, on that and select and uh, then that's with the the edge tool selected it's selected all the edges on the outside so if I do select an inverse now and then press C you can see that it's put this around the middle and then right click again and scale uniform and I'm going to take that down 50 so if I hold the control key down I can take it down to 50 percent and what that does is it when it's re um, rejoined with the outer section like so select the entire object and then weld it means that these uh, webs that go across the middle don't touch so you can see in between them so it just makes it look a bit better that's all for uh, shape wise so there we go right now you've welded it all together the faces that were this color have now vanished so it's all one material and then just uh, select the entire object you can do, do Sabian subdivision and press S to smooth do, do any kind of uh, select the entire object press S to smooth maybe smooth again depending on what level of detail or you can add details to the surface select these lines extrude bits but uh, essentially that's worked that time so that was good right let's give it one more go oh, see whether we get lucky with the numbers again or not what I'm doing is I'm rolling this six-sided dice and adding two for the number of sections on the cylinder so that's two plus two that's four mm, risky I was worried when I got an even number but we'll do it anyway so cylinder and if I choose four here that will just have produced one of these 
Well, it's a, it's a cube section there. You can see that. So at the end face, right, we need to know the number of segments. This comes out even. There's going to be a problem. Hmm. 2 plus 6 is 8. I can tell you now that's not going to work from previous experience. So let's try a different one. Let's have run. Ah, oh, okay. I've rolled a 3 plus 6 is 9. Oh, I had 9 last time. Okay, roll again. 5. 5 plus 6, 11. Okay, I've not had 11. So I'll press uh, tab. No, not tab. Uh, right click and sweep and sweep and X and tab and 2 and tab again. And now I need to do 180 divided by 11, which I don't know off the top of my head. It is 16.36363636 recurring. Tab, next one is naught. Tab again. And this last one is 360 divided by, well, 4, that's easy, that's 90, divided by number of segments is 11. So it's 360 divided by the number of sections, then by the number of segments. And that is equal to 8.1818181818 recurring. So go OK. And now it's a matter of using Shift and D to take it right round and then overlap once, overlap twice, press I for identical, plus to extend the selection, delete, select entire object, right click and weld. OK, space to deselect, select one of these outer lines, press L for loop, right click and bevel. Bevel it down to its maximum extent, whatever that is. And then right click and extrude normal. I can extrude one, there's plenty of room in the middle. And then right click and shell extrude normal and take that out. Take the new object that's been generated and hide it and we're dealing with this little inner shape now. Right, so the number of, of uh, sections, that's four isn't it? So select one of these outside edges, select edge loop every nth ring and make that four, go OK and then highlight the sides. All right, OK, that's uh, appeared to work. Of course in this case there is another option but I think you'd have to do it manually and that is to do every opposite one so this would work but they wouldn't uh, sort of cross one another which is a shame because I was wanting to demonstrate that this would work in every case so I wonder if there's a way I can get them see I don't know whether I can do that so if I do this do every opposite one which is a bit fiddly I mean I can do it like this I don't think there's an option to select um, select every, every other face. Um, I, I don't know Wings 3D well enough to, to know if there's that tool. I could do it with the other one. But if, if you select every other one, because there's uh, an even number, I might have worked for the other one with the eights. I never thought about trying this, but yes, you do it this way, uh, then you can still use the material uh, option. So you go right click and material and assign it like so because I'd already created that material I can easily assign it and then press space to deselect and then use G and then L for loop right click and loop cut and then you can check all the segments have been cut up okay uh, press space to deselect use right click select on that material and then you go selection inverse press minus delete those bits switch to the vertexes delete the vert ah now I've got a waste there so that's a bit of a problem so I'll go back do it the other way that seems to work if uh, when that way doesn't work which is you just uh, select the faces switch to vertexes do select inverse and delete there you go that's uh, another way of doing it so I suppose it's going to be worth showing that and then you can bring in the shape that you'd hidden right click select everything right click weld select the entire object ah I didn't do the I'll show you what happens if you don't put the wastes in then. Uh, so do Serbian subdivision and then smooth and smooth. You can see if you don't put the, the wastes in across the middle and these bits here get very close to one another so the shape is more compact. Okay, well, all right, that right, I'll do another one. Bear with me. Right, uh, roll the dice. Let's see. I want an odd number so I'm going to keep rolling that. So I've rolled six and six and six is twelve. Too many segments. One. 1 plus 2 is 3. Do I want to do one with 3 segments? Yeah, okay. 
So uh, if I do a cylinder and put 3 in this value here, what's going to happen? I'm not sure. Select this end face. I want to know how many segments around the outside. And that's 6 again. I seem to put it rolling 6. That's 5. 2. So 2 plus 6 is 8. So 3s and 8s. They don't go into one another, so I don't anticipate any problems. So I'll go right click, sweep, sweep, X, tab, and then two for the first value, tab again, all right, and I need to know 180 divided by eight. So I don't type that in, do I? I need to do it in my calculator, divided by eight is 22.5. Right, and then I need this one, the final figure to be 360 divided by uh, the number of uh, sections, and then the number of segments, so divided by Eight, and then divide that by three, and that's fifteen. So fifteen, okay, and then do shift D. Hang on a minute, I've managed to do that wrong somehow. Shift D. No, a minute. Control Alt Z. I have to go back a step. Why is that not working now? Oh, caps locks become pressed. Let's try now. Go back again. Right, one last try, and then we can get irritated with this. So, sweep, sweep, X, tab, 2, tab, 22.5, tab, 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 15. OK, Shift D, how it works now. Overlap twice, identical, plus delete, select entire object, weld, space to deselect, outer edge, loop, bevel, extrude normal I'll take it out 0 0.6 shell extrude normal I'll take it out one hide the outer object right select one of these outer edges and then we're going to select edge loop every third okay and then switch to face and let's see okay that looks like it's going to work so now I need to assign the material to that. So since I've already created the material, I can just, uh, just left click on the material option there. Press space to deselect, select one of these outer edges, G, L, G, L, G, L, and loop cut it into separate segments. Check that all the separate segments are separated. Then use the outline to select through the material. And then I should be able to, I'll do it this way. I'll select the vertexes, select inverse delete oh, it's worked okay just check for any odd lines that might be running across those faces then I can use the outliner to select those in the face mode outline to select the faces again go to edge select inverse press C to connect and then scale uniform hold key down take it down 50% bring back the outer shape select entire object and weld Select the entire object, right click, do Sabian subdivision, and select the entire object, press S and S again. So that has worked for three. So I think it shows, oh dear, I've nearly gone on for 20 minutes now. I think that shows that I've spent far too much time on this video, um, how you can do this just about, but it's not going to work for every instance of segments and sections if they divide into one another then sometimes when you go around the outside you don't get an appropriate selection and you're left with odd uh, arrangements of these webs if you've got even numbers then try selecting odd and even okay then so uh, i hope you give that a go and uh, that it was vaguely interesting and uh, that's the end of the video